Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to learn about master data relationship and how to create master data relationship in the Salesforce Lightning as well as Salesforce Classic. Before that, here we would like to inform you that we have recently launched a Salesforce course specially for students who learn about the Salesforce administrator and even if you are a beginner then you will easily understand the topics and content of the course and there is also limited time offer 50% discount for the early words and you will have the lifetime access of the course and you can subscribe the course through the link in the description box in this course we will provide salesforce admin course from beginner to the advanced level you can also learn this course with no prior knowledge of salesforce admin we have 9 plus modules with real based scenario example, 21 hour plus HD video course, lifetime access, course material and one to one doubt clear and inter preparation sessions, certification of completion, internship and placement opportunities and the exclusive Facebook group access. Here is the Salesforce course admin contents. We have divided it into the different different modules, introduction to Salesforce, navigation and setup and in this we have all covered the Salesforce admin course that you can learn from beginner to the advanced level. Now jump to our topic how to create master data relationship in the Salesforce. The master data relationship is also called as a parent child relationship which is basically created whenever relationship between two objects has parent and the child relation. We can create a relationship when we want to access the parent record from the child object. As we know the master data relationship is the parent and child relationship that means the master is the parent and child is the detail side. In the master data relationship the master field is always required to be the field. The child record properties is also controlled by the parent object and we can create only two MDRs per object. We can use the rollup summary field on the parent object in the master data relationship. Let's take a scenario there is a courses in that one course has many students here we can create a master detail relationship and when the parent object is deleted automatically the child record is also gets deleted in the master detail relationship using this example we will see how to create mdr in the salesforce here is important thing that we always create a master detail relationship on the child side and while creating the master detail relationship we should keep in mind that no record should be in there in the child or the detail object on which we are creating the, the MDR. Now we will see how to create master detail relationship in the Salesforce Lightning. When we log into the Salesforce org, we will see the home page and we know we have to create the master detail relationship on the child object. In our example, the student is the child object. For that, click on the object manager and the and in quick find box search for the student here you can see we have a custom object of student click on that then click on the field and relationship here we want a new field for that here we have a new button click on that then here we have to select the master data relationship as a data type then click on the next button here we want to establish relationship between the course and the and the student for that here we need to select the course object click on the course and then click on the next button this field label will display on the record page while we creating the new record in the student object here we can simply select the course name because we are going to select the course name on the student object then the child relationship name will be the student and here we have option allow reparenting if we click on this option this option allows us to change the parent record from the child also. After that, click on the next button. We know that the master detail field is always required and when any field is required, then it automatically get available, automatically get visible to the all profiles. Then click on the next button. For that, click on the next button and then save. Okay, we got an error. Cannot create master detail relationship. Here is the error says you cannot create a new master data relationship on an existing custom object if record is already exist. Let's check our student object if it is there any record is present or not app on which the student object is present. In my case I have created the institute CRM application in that 
student object is present. Click on the student object. As per the error, we have our lady records in the student object. When we want to create the master detail relationship, we don't have any record in that object. For that, we are going to delete this record. Now we can see there is no any record in the student object. Now we will try again to create the MDR on the student object. For that, we know the steps. Go to the setup, then go to the object manager, search for the student object, click on student, go to the field and relationship, click on the new, select the MDR relationship, click on next, related object will be the course, select on the next, select the field name as a course name, then click on the next button, again next, again next and save now there is no any error and you can see with the label of course name our master data relationship has been created this is how we can create the master data relationship in the salesforce in the salesforce lightning now we will see creation of master data relationship in the salesforce classic with the different scenario so here is a department object and in that department object we have different different departments like finance, sales and IT. And there are multiple employees with these different different departments. Some employees are working in finance, some are working in the sales and some working with the IT department. When we delete the particular department, let's say if we delete the IT department, all employees which associate with the IT departments it automatically get delete in the master detail relationship. Now we will see how to create MDR in the Salesforce Classic. For switch to the Salesforce Classic, click on the profile icon. Then we have a switch to Salesforce Classic option. Click on that option. Now as per our scenario, the employee object is the detail object. For that search for the employee object. Here you can see, here you can see the employee object. Click on that. Here no record is present let's create the mdr field here you can see here is the expand quick access menu click on that and click on the view fields now in the custom field and relationship option click on the new button for create the new mdr relationship then click on the master data relationship click on next then in the related to object we have to select the master object and in our scenario the master object is department click on the department and then click on the next button then click on the next button as we know the required field is always visible to the all profiles that's and click on the next button next and click on the save here you can see the master data relationship with the department has been successfully created on the employee object this is how we can create the master data relationship in the Salesforce Classic and Salesforce Lightning. First check as per our example, we have courses, we have courses Salesforce Development and SharePoint under these courses. For that click on student and here you can see we have courses which we created in click on any course and click on the save. The record has been created with the course name SharePoint. Like this, we will add new 5 to 6 student. Now here you can see I have created some student with course name SharePoint and the Salesforce development. Now we will see if we delete any master object then associate record of this course object get delete or not. We will delete the SharePoint course and let's check of SharePoint whether get deleted or not. Click on delete button and the SharePoint and the SharePoint course get deleted. Then click on the student and here you can see all the student record which were associated with the SharePoint course gets deleted. This is how the master data relationship I hope you have got an idea how to create master data relationship in the Salesforce Lightning and Salesforce Classic also. If you like the video then click on the like button, subscribe our channel and click on the notification icon to get regular updates. Thank you.